day three. The weather conditions are not great. <laughs> it's <Wait> the least. <laughs> so we went there, but we're going to go for it, trying to do 10 more kilometers of the time. We're starting on... Left light. We're starting on left light here next to the pub, the Riverside pub. Um, it is, yeah, it's a good... Go to Radcott, is it? Radcott yeah, Bridge. Yeah, Radcott Bridge. It's a good get in. So let's go, guys, get in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first lock on the time. St. John's lock. Woohoo! St. John's lock. The very first lock. And we're getting out. It is quite windy back there. So it makes the paddling challenging enough. I'm feeling my arms already. We, it's very windy. Um, and we're sort of battling out. We've done a mile and a half of about six miles. So we're not making bad progress, but it's not the best of conditions. So we're just sort of slogging away. Try and get to halfway and then we'll chill out a bit. Okay, we're just coming into lock number two. There's the crew and we're gonna get out up here somewhere I think and uh, work our way around this weir get back in pretty cool see how high, uh, high the level is So we've done 2.95 miles, so nearly halfway. Yeah. Probably about halfway, I reckon. We found a little spot out of the wind. We, we pulled our boards up. I across against the current and the wind, and it was so hard. I'm so glad we're going with the current. <laughs> we've had wind and current behind us for this long section, so it's really helped. Because yeah. when you, the river's been quite me meandering up to this point, and we've had a few bits when we've had to drive into the wind, and we have to get down on our knees and really push hard. But yeah earned lunch we've just had lunch <laughs> <laughs> and now we're setting off on the river again <laughs> yes this is our lunching point that is our lunch spot lunch done and we're heading to the Thames down the Thames Esau wants to live in the cottage, as you might have gathered. Uh, we're uh, four miles in and listen to some music and it's good. This is the third build box that we see in the whole, in this section of the Thames. So we assume it must be from World War II. But it's quite an interesting feature of this little puddle. Third one. Just coming up, there's the weir, big old willow. And it's quite windy behind us, but we're making good progress. It's 4.9 miles now, so we're not far from the car, I don't think. About a mile left. Oh, you saw one? 
we just he's just saw a kingfisher and we've reached the end of our 10k paddle and there's my car on the right the end uh, we're at the end point got out and we're done with paddling forever that is it four days on the thames one day hiking three day paddling and we have done 47 kilometers of the thames in autumn that's good yeah we enjoy hail sunshine beautiful views yeah, it's amazing. Wicked. It's a brilliant four days. Looking forward to the next uh, section of the table now. Yeah, yeah. Next time. Just chip away. Yeah.